Hardy Canadian bush pilots navigating their own planes pioneered the great Canadian Northwest staging route. The story of its development is now just released. Flying over a treacherous wilderness, they brought vital supplies to lonely outposts. In the 1920s, they gathered the hard way, the details which make possible the great 1944 air highway to Russia. Putting their data to use, the Canadian government built a chain of airports from Edmonton to Alaska. After the United States entered the war, Canada offered the Americans free use of the airway to Alaska. Extension and enlarging of airfields is carried on by the United States and Canada to accommodate the large volume of traffic. A typical example of good neighbors that work together. At the central airport of the route, Edmonton, Alberta, supplies are loaded. They are consigned to key stations along the airway. A continuous shuttle service is in operation to ferry maintenance equipment and supplies. The first port of call is Fort St. John, an old trading post of the 90s. Flying over the British Columbia boundary into Yukon territories, the transport heads into the post at Watson Lake. Refueling is done by the United States Army Air Corps. Everything from bed springs to meat is unloaded as the precious octane fills the tanks for the next stage of the trip. Close to the Alaska Highway, the air route is removed from the Pacific Coast. It is comparatively free from enemy attack. At Whitehorse, Yukon Territories, the American ambassador to Canada, the Honorable Ray Atherton, inspects the station and its staff. Relics of yesterday's transportation systems contrast strangely with the modern way of travel. Dog teams are still used in rescue parties. stop on the journey before Siberia is Ladfield, Fairbanks, Alaska. In the hangars of the United States Army Air Corps, dozens of American fighter planes are ready for their hop to Russia. Over 5,000 American-built planes have been flown to Russia over the Northwest staging route. U.S. pilots ferry planes from American bases to Fairbanks, and there the Russians take them away. Through the friendly cooperation of two good neighbors, with a third across the Aleutians, another deadly arrow is on its way, aimed at the very heart of a doomed Germany.